Hey everyone! Welcome to another Anypoint Code Builder short video. My name is Alex Martinez. I am a developer advocate at MuleSoft, and today we are going to see a preview of the new support for custom Java code. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to make sure that we have installed the extension pack for Java. You can see that it comes from Microsoft. This will be useful to see your Java project in action. Once you install that, let's go ahead and develop an integration right here. Just add your project name, select empty project. In my case, I am going to select 470 and Java version 17, create project. So once your project has been initialized, you will be able to see here that you have a Java projects tab. This comes from the Java extension that we installed earlier. So if you click here on Java test, which is the name of my project, you will be able to see all of the different folders that we have right now. So to get started, we can create a package under source main Java. Simply click here and select package. In my case, I am going to name this com mule sub test, press enter, and this will create a new package right here. You can also go here from the main project structure and you will be able to see that we have a new folder called com and then inside that another folder MuleSoft and another folder test. Now from there, you can create a new Java class inside here or you can also create it from here, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Let me create it from the main one now. So if you right click here on the folder you want it, you can select new Java file and then select class. I'm going to name it my custom class and press enter. So now we have our new Java class here and we can also see it from here. Now I'm just going to paste some code that I already had. In this case, we have a public string that is called greeting and this will return another string called hello mule. That's it. So let me save this file. So now that we have our custom Java class, we can go back to our main flow. I'm going to paste some code. In summary, we have a listener configuration, we have a flow, and we have another listener here that is connecting to the HTTP listener config. The path is going to be test. So now we can get started on calling our actual Java custom class. So I am going to add a new component. Now, if I go here to connectors in Java, I will be able to see all of the available Java components, or I can also just search for Java right here, and I will be able to see all of the Java components. The first thing we need to do is to create the instance of our class. So go ahead and click on new. Now, once you add it, click on it to open the config panel, and you will be able to see here that you can search for the constructor. So the class here, it can be the class that we created before, or you can actually search for other kinds of Java classes like math, and you will also be able to use those. But for now, let's just select our custom Java class that we had created before. After that, we can select the constructor. In our case, because we didn't create an actual constructor for our class, you can just select the default constructor. Now you can leave it like that and carry on in the payload, or you can create a variable for this. So in my case, I am going to create a variable. So click here on advanced and create your target variable. In my case, this is going to be my custom class. So then I will be able to use this variable every time that I want to invoke this class. You can also see here on the input output tab in the output, you will be able to see here that you have a new variable called my custom class and this is an object. So now let's go ahead and invoke this. Again, we can search for Java and click on invoke. Once you add it, you can click on it to open the config panel one more time. And in the instance, we will select the variable that we just created. So if we go here to variables, we have our custom class, which is an object. After we select that, we will be able to select the class and the method. In this case, we will be able to see that we have a bunch of different methods that we can call, but I'm just going to select the one we created, which is greeting. Now we can also put this in a variable if we wanted to right here. But if I go to the input output tab, I will be able to see that my payload before this was any, but my payload after this is of the type string, which means that this is invoking my method and it will return a string. 
So knowing that, I am just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to create a variable and I'm just carrying the result of the method in the payload. Now let's make sure we save this and run this application. And once it's running, we will be able to call localhost881 slash test and we correctly received the status 200 okay and the hello meal string.